so Jingle Bell Rock. Uh, which I teach it to you is to be the quickest lesson I can for a Christmas song. Um, based on the key of D major. Okay. And uh, the basic chords would go D and then D like that. And then space in between like that. Well, this is an open string and two fingers in the string. I'm just going to rock back and forth. A7. And E minor. Back to A7. E major. A augmented. This is kind of a hard one for me to do. Actually, I think there's another way of putting it up here as well, and that's where I'll be showing you. So in the beginning, you saw me start up here, and it's basically these three strings are here concentrating on the three strings. So we'll switch to the other one, and I'll let you know. So you're going to go starting on a D chord, which is your D, okay? The up strong, see? But two fingers together using my middle finger and the pick. So. It's really quite simple. Okay. I'm going to back it up to the beginning of the song, so we're going to go. So, pr probably not the easiest song to learn, but... Here's your first chord. So, all again. And that's five, three, two, open. So the fourteenth fret on the E string, fifteenth fret on the B. Then both on the fourteenth fret together. And then you're gonna go back to the position that you were in and play the catching a little power chord here. Fifteen, seventeen. To get to that part there. Now the next part is where you're going to shift your hand and go down to here, the two strings together, and then bend them up. Use all three fingers together to bend all three of those. Try to keep them together. So keep playing the two strings together at a time. So as I'm coming over to the next, when you hear this note come in, you're hitting this string here at the same time. So you're going to go. two strings together all the time. That's how you do that. Two strings together. start the song right so starting on your D then you're gonna shift this into what would be what an F sharp minor the two together making the melody then you're just gonna bar these four here and and then hammer on this uh, ninth fret of the E string and then kind of strum all three and then omit the, the E string when you come back through. See, I'm actually muting it, see? Can't hear it. With my index finger here. 
Then you do that lick again. Then you're going to have to hit this note and then bounce to this A7. Right? Then you're going to do an open G, 1, 2, 3, on, or 0, 2, 3 on the E string. That's an A with the hammer on at the 7th. That's open, 2, 3 on just the bottom four strings, and the same thing again. Okay, and then you're gonna hit this uh, E minor here. And then you're gonna hit this A augmented here. Now, the fingering is for this right here. But that's a little difficult for me to switch really quickly, and I don't ever play this chord, so, I'm going to show you a little cheater part on this and you can just hold these two together with this one to play like an A minor see and then hit it with this okay so kind of like one two three in a C chord but you gotta play two notes on the sixth fret with your middle finger kinda of hard to hit but when you land it it comes out easier way easier to play then you're going to come back into the melody again. Sorry. You're going to come back to this G, and then you're going to go G again. So we'll do that part again. All again. Seven.